Hi, Steve Solo here, um, playing Elite Dangerous. Um, gonna do a quick video on discovery scanners, um, D scanner, advanced discovery scanner, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, why do you use it? Where can I buy one? And how to use it? Um, and we'll start um, with why do you need a discovery scanner? Hmm. Well, a lot of missions need discovery scanners um, well I say they need them at least uh, if we go to mission board I don't know why this fly is flying around me now uh, mission board standby um, okay boom data delivery don't need it for that um, nor them don't need it for anything. Right, assassinate Pirate Lord uh, Chief Jonathan Crook. Cook. Um, Commander Pirate Cook. Yeah, well, anyway, if you choose that mission, you go to CMOS. Um, when you get to the system, you're, you can set off your discovery scanner. You'll come up with a mission update and it'll show you which planet he's hovering around. Um, go to that planet fly around the planet you'll get a mission um, uh, discovered sort of blue uh, ring and then you can just go and drop that warp and go and kick his ass. Uh, other types of missions uh, you might need it for um, could be um, let's see wet work not sure I haven't done any of those bits so you need to go to a planet so you might need it for them and illegal illegal black box salvage operations um, so if you're doing any salvaging you're going to need it um, same sort of thing with the assassination into the system discovery scanner and the other thing you need them for is uh, these carto cartographics um, when you when you go to a system and you buzz it you get basically data to sell so I got like a few local ones here, um, 28,000. If you go to Pleiades or something, you could end up um, earning a couple of million. How do you buy them? Um, how would you get them from? Well, you get them from um, your outfitting. And just going into outfitting. Outfitting optional internal, so it's the optional one, and you'll see it. I've got one that's fitted, of course. So if you go to that and browse shop, and what you're looking for is the stellar body scanners. Uh, you've also got surface scanners, it's not the same thing, um, but you do use them in conjunction with this. Um, you don't activate them by pressing any fire button um, they're actually passive and they scan planets and it's good if you want to mine the planet and make a lot of money if you find terraform rules and all sorts of other planets but that's on the exploration a completely different subject I suppose I'll stop babbling get on with the stellar body scanners right okay you've got three types you've got the 1E uh, active range 500 light seconds that's when you uh, fire you know, activate it using your primary primary or secondary fire button and you've got the passive range which means it'll pick up anything without being activated obviously it's passive absolutely useless absolutely useless you're not going to find hardly anything with that um, and hence it's a thousand credits better off buying I don't know nothing just keep the money immediate intermediate discovery scanner half a million Wow I would not spend half a million you get a thousand light seconds you're lucky to get the first star in the system um, and you've got a 
passive range of three light seconds, you put three four. Nah. Again, pointless. The only one worth getting, absolutely only one worth getting in my opinion, is the one C. And the reason for that is his active range. When you engage it by pressing on your fire buttons, you're gonna get an infinite range on it. And that means the whole solar system is scanned and scanned for mission um, mission locations and um, planets, moons, whatever, it's going to find them. Anything it can find, it's going to find in that solar system. That's the only one worth having. Um, and it's passive range of 33 light seconds. Okay, good. Right. How, once you've equipped it, um, you will, what you need to do then is just go to your um, to your status uh, panel and choose fire groups. Obviously, you can see I, mine's already on the fire group two, and it's set on primary um, primary fire button. I've got nothing on my secondary. Um, I sometimes have an FSD, uh, yeah, indicator, indicator. I can't even say that word. Them, I usually have one here. Um, but I haven't got it equipped on the ship at the moment, so that's usually on my secondary fire button. Um, so I would assume you know how to set those up. If you don't, ask. I'll help you out. You might not always find it at the station you're at, and you'll think, where can I get one? Well, I'm going to show you. I don't know if you've used this before, but it's well worth mentioning now. Um, so I'm just going to go into a web page. I'll show you the web page and show you how to use it quickly. Uh, it's much bigger than what I'm going to show you. Um, definitely worth bookmarking. Right, here we are. It's eddb.io, um, I think. I shall put a link in the um, comments, no, link in the section below. And you can go here. And this is how you check it. You want to find a station that sells the discovery scanner. So you click on stations. Hopefully, yeah, here we go. Uh, you can set, you can see what ships are sold. But we're looking for modules, so we're looking for Discovery Scanner, and we're looking for the One C, the the advanced Discovery Scanner, not the basic or intermediate. Intermediate. We want the advanced one. So we can then choose the, the minimum landing pad. So if you've got a large ship, you, you can choose anywhere that's got a large landing pad. You can choose maximum distance to arrival. That's uh, when you arrive at the star, how close it is. Obviously, the lower the number, the closer it is. You may not want to fly 20,000 light seconds to get it. Uh, include planetary. So if you've got horizons, great. You can include planetary. Uh, requires a permit. That would say yes. Uh, no. Reason being is it, you can't go to Sol, for example, and it tells you you need to go to Sol pointless information you can't go there so I just put requires no permit um, and reference system well I'll use this one we now request and that's the one here you see Agnew's Folly where I am and then I can just find stations and here's a list of all the stations close to me done in this distance by light year where I can find a discovery scanner um, as you can see it says Agnew's Folly Vetquest there's also another station in Vetquest Chuffy Orbital the only other one um, CMS I mean there's pretty much everywhere <laughs> um, but sometimes things are more rare so you might, this is really good tool um, in fact can show you the web address but I will put a link as I said eddb.io and that's that's the web address and that's how you get there uh, to find it this this video by the way I'm making um, um, with a bit of a dedication to um, Moses Poe and Sniper Penguin they both um, stream on Twitch check them out I, again, I'm going to put a link to their, their Twitch channels. 
Um, great guys, check them out. Um, if you're them, don't check yourself out. No point. Sorry, bad sense of humour. Um, right, here we go. Um, so I'm going to launch. Oh, before I launch, I look for a planet. Here we go. Alright, now. I happen to know that I haven't been to somewhere. Oh, let's have a look. Here, is it? Yeah. Now, I have been there, but I haven't scanned it properly. So I'm going to see if I can get a scan on it. I checked it earlier. I've been to most of the stars around here, so it's hard to find one to demonstrate this work. Oh, what a what a palaver to get there. Fuel star. Hmm. It's only a couple of jumps. Right. Have I fully fueled then? Let's have a look. Have oh, I got fuel? Yeah, I don't know. No boggle. So, I'll show you it working now. T. I said this was going to be a short video. I hope it's not taking too much of your time. Too, too high. What the hell am I doing? Russian, that's what I'm doing. Alright, off we go. Usual thing, get away from the space station. Three jumps. Have I been here before? I can have a quick look. Fuel scooping. Probably have, as I said, it's yeah look, there's all these planets here, I've definitely been there before. Normally I'd buzz it anyway. Um purely because you you get that data I was talking about earlier. And you, you can sell it. Themi oh I do you know so I, these names, I can't say half of them. I don't even mix them up, I'm sure they're just random letters or something. It's not about I need fuel, I mean... Fuel star. I'm not sure I get stuck now with no fuel. I can buzz this. Alright, I'm gonna fuel scoop here. Um. Just so I don't run out of fuel, that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Have to, have to get hold of uh, Yosh, my wing, my wingman. Come and save me! Now it's the system map, so one's one planet. Oh, will I check this? You see, I can just check the planet while I'm refueling. Boom. I think they call it honking as you go past the system. I must have enough fuel. Come on, let's let's risk it. Risk it. I'm feeling like living on the edge today. Um. No, it's not critical, is it? It's 82 percent. It's not critical. It's just a bit warm. 
Ooh, sparks, sparks. I'm alright, man. I'm okay. It's going down. I got heat sinks anyway. Slav is sick. Slav is. He sounds like a footballer. Alright, here we are. Oh yeah, it's moaning. I'm at 100% um, heat. Boo bloody who. Right. Now we're in the star system. If I check it now, um, we've got two planets landable there, and we've got this thing, these two stations here. This was actually picked up earlier with the passive range, um, and you can see by the how close they are because they're at 21 light seconds. And remember, it was 33 light seconds I've got passive range. Um, I did fly out a bit, so that's probably why I picked that up. So now we're going to do the discovery scan and see if anything else is picked up. Fingers crossed. Right, here we go. Uh, get me closer, I'll do some few noise. Right, there you go. 12 new astronomical objects, right? And if I go to the system map now, look at that. None of this was showing before. And there you got all these stars, you've got landable planets, there could be missions there when you, you might come to this planet looking for a mission, uh, this system looking for a mission, uh, like a salvage mission, uh, an assassination mission, and you wouldn't even be able to see the planets, let alone where the, know where the mission is. Uh, that discovery scanner would have picked up these planets here, and then it would give you the mission objective and target, and it say it was here, you'd fly over to this planet, and as you get close to this planet, um, because you would get told it's at this planet, for example, uh, you'd fly over to here, fly around the planet, um, and then you, you, you'd pick up the mission destination, drop in, assassinate, pick up what you need to pick up, whatever. Um, you can actually look at one of my YouTube videos before. I think there's a salvaging mission there, and there's the um, planetary scans. Both use the discovery scanner um, and you can see it in action there also so I hope you found this useful um, hope it explained everything I hope I didn't waffle too much um, yeah and uh, hope you have fun using your discovery scanner once you get it thanks for watching